In this part of the uh, learning process, we're going to look at extending our knowledge of straight line graphs. You'll often hear it as a topic referred to as coordinate geometry at the start of A-level. We've looked at the basics of a straight line. Now what we need to be able to do is find parallel and perpendicular lines. Parallel lines mean that we have the same gradient. So the gradient is exactly the same of the two lines. So if one is going there, this is going to be parallel to it. Okay, so if we've got the form y equals mx plus c, then the m value of these two parallel lines are the same. If, on the other hand, we have what we call perpendicular lines, these run at 90 degree right angles to each other. And it's important that you get into a habit now of appreciating the following thing. When we have perpendicular lines, m1 multiplied, and I'm using the dot for multiplication, m2 is equal to negative 1 if perpendicular. And the sign for perpendicular is often given like so. Maybe a bit shorter here and there. All this says is that if you multiply the two gradients of perpendicular lines, you'll get negative 1. I don't like to think of it that way beyond simply expressing that if required in an exam. The way I like to look at this is if we've got a gradient of 2, then I can write that as 2 over 1. All we need to do is turn this upside down and multiply it by negative 1. So if the gradient of a tangent, for example, was 2, then the reciprocal, the negative reciprocal, the perpendicular line would be minus a half. That would be the gradient. Now we'll come on to calculus, but often we're given a tangent line and the perpendicular is given as called uh, the normal, which sounds really quite strange, doesn't it? So if we've got a parallel line and the gradient is 3, then the parallel line to that will have a gradient of 3. If we have a perpendicular and it's got a gradient of 5 over 2, then the, the line perpendicular to that is going to be negative 2 over 5. If one line has got a gradient of 8, then the perpendicular is negative 1 over 8, because that was 8 over 1. Um, if we've got 4 thirds, then the perpendicular is minus 3 quarters. But in your workings, you will generally state that m1 multiplied by m2, the two gradients, remember this is gradient, so this would be the line m1, and this would be the line m2, the gradients are multiplied to give negative 1. So let's look at that in action. Find the gradient of a straight line that is parallel to the line y is equal to 3 minus 2x. If we rearrange this as y is equal to minus 2x plus 3, we have the form y is equal to mx plus c, and we can quite clearly see that the gradient here is minus 2. So the gradient of a straight line parallel is going to have an m value of minus 2. Not so clear here. Let's focus on this one. Firstly, we're going to switch it into y equals mx plus c. So if I add the 5y to both sides, I'm going to have 5y is equal to 2x plus 1. And hopefully you see what I've done now. I've actually moved it over there, but I've kept it on the left-hand side. I just prefer working this way. Dividing out by 5, we can have 2 over 5x plus 1 over 5. We can see that the gradient now of here, of the line, has got to be 2 fifths. And this is the y-intercept at 1 fifth. Okay? The perpendicular to the line y equals 3x plus 4. So we're in the correct form. So if the gradient m1 is equal to 3, or 3 over 1, then m2 is going to equal negative 1 over 3. As they both multiply, m1 multiplied by m2 is equal to negative 1 if perpendicular. Let's look at this one. We need this in the form of y equals mx plus c. So writing it as 2y is equal to minus x plus 3, and then dividing by the 2, y is equal to negative 1 half x plus 3 over 2. The gradient of m1, the line, is equal to minus 1 half. Therefore, and we use this as therefore, m2 is going to be positive 2 over 1, and we would just write it as 2. So there we go. Um, what else have we got on here? OK, finding the form of y equals mx plus c, the equation of a straight line that is parallel to uh, 
y equals for x minus 1 and it goes through the point 1 comma 7. All we ever need for the equation of a straight line are two points or a set of coordinates it goes through and a gradient. So our set of coordinates are 1 comma 7 and our gradient is 4. So m is equal to 4. So y minus y1 which is 7 is equal to the gradient m x minus x1 and x1 is just going to be 1. So we'll get y is equal to 4x minus 4 plus 7 is going to give us plus 3. So that right there is going to be the parallel line that goes through the points 1 comma 7. Okay, let's look at the next one. We want the line perpendicular to 6 minus x that goes through the point negative 4, 3. So our coordinates are negative 4, 3. Our gradient, and just be careful, is minus 1. So the perpendicular, if our gradient is minus 1 over 1, then the perpendicular will be positive 1 over 1. So y minus 3 is equal to the gradient, and again, we wouldn't have to write the 1, x minus the x-coordinate, which is going to be minus minus 4, which is x plus 4. So y is equal to x plus 4 plus 3, x plus 7. That is the line perpendicular. Okay, next one, the line perpendicular here. So let's rearrange this to have 3y is equal to x. Divide by the 3, y is equal to 1 third x. We can now see that the gradient is 1 third. What we're now going to do is turn that upside down. So the m value is going to be negative 3. We've got two points it goes through. We've got minus 2 comma minus 2. So y minus minus 2 is y plus 2 is equal to minus 3, the gradient, x minus minus 2. So we're going to have y is equal to minus 3x. Then we're going to have minus 6 on here and then minus another 2, which will be minus 8. So that right there in the form y equals mx plus c is the equation of a straight line perpendicular to this line through those coordinates. OK, find in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0, where a, b and c are integers, the equation of the perpendicular bisector of a line segment joining each pair of points. We've got a lot of work here, but it's no problem. So let's do the find m. Let's first find the gradient of this line. So the m value, as we looked at last time, is the change in y, 0, minus 4, over the change in x. 8 minus 0. So the m value is going to be minus 4 over 8, which is going to give us minus 1 half. So the perpendicular is going to be positive 2. So m2 is going to equal positive 2 as it's the negative reciprocal. And in your working show, m1 times by m2 is going to be uh, negative 1. The perpendicular bisector, what we're doing, we're cutting this line in half. If you can imagine this line, in fact, we've got a negative gradient, haven't we? So let's make it look somewhere near realistic. What we're trying to do is now find the line that's perpendicular through the middle of this. OK, so let's do that then. Um, so what we're going to do is find the midpoint. So it's going to be 0 plus 8. Again, we checked this in the last video. 0 plus 8 over 2 comma 0 plus 4 over 2. So your midpoint is going to be 4 and then 4 over 2 is 2. So now we've got a point that it goes through and we've got a gradient. That's all we need. That's all we need for a straight line. So y minus the y coordinate of 2 is equal to the gradient x minus the x coordinate of 4. So y is equal to 2x Minus 8 plus 2 will give us minus 6. Now, that is in the form y equals mx plus c. To get it in the form they want, all we need to do is subtract this y from both sides. So 0 is equal to 2x minus y minus 6. a, b and c are all integers where a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 1 and c is equal to negative 6 or minus 6. And that's how it's done. We found the gradient of the original line. 
we found the negative reciprocal as m1 multiplied by m2 must be equal to negative 1 if perpendicular, or simply turn it upside down and made it not non-negative. We found the midpoint of the line, that's what perpendicular bisector means, it means it cuts it in half at right angles. That then gave us exactly what we needed, one set of coordinates that goes through and the gradient. So that's a perpendicular line. Okay, so that's the lot. Parallel and perpendicular lines. Take home points. Parallel lines have the same gradient. Perpendicular lines, their product, the product of the, the gradients is negative one, or you can simply turn it upside down and multiply it by negative one. A perpendicular line is often called a normal to a tangent when we're doing calculus. When we uh, want a straight line, equation of a straight line, we only need a gradient and a set of coordinates it goes through. We can write the equation of a straight line in the form y equals mx plus c or ax plus by plus c equals zero. To find the gradient of a line, simply put it in the form y equals mx plus c and evaluate. The gradient is a change in y for the change in x or delta y delta x or rise over run. So hopefully that's given you enough of an insight to get cracking with some straight line work.